Hi guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. I've got on the closest that I had to shamrocks uh, in my wardrobe here. And I was doing a little bit of research into St. Patrick's Day drinks or maybe just a little bit elevated from, you know, your green beer. Uh, and I found the Irish Blonde, which is from Cocktail King himself, Dale de Groff. Uh, it is actually Irish whiskey, um, a little bit of orange liqueur and then some sherry. So obviously, as soon as I read this, I was like, I need to try it. Haven't tried it yet, so let's try it together and see if it's what you should be sipping on this March 17th. So it's a little bit adapted. As you can imagine, I actually have uh, upped the sherry component a little bit. So we're gonna go in with 45 mils of Irish whiskey. You want something nice and light and bright. I'm using Teeling Single Grain. But yeah, any kind of triple distilled, like a little bit lighter Irish whiskey, Old Faithful Jameson would definitely work here as well. And then 15 mils of an orange liqueur, triple sec or um, curacao and a fino sherry. So that's not usually something that I would put with uh, whiskey, but given that Irish whiskey is often um, a little bit kind of like, yeah, smoother and more approachable, that kind of more herbal element will actually bring out those lovely flavor notes in there. So we're gonna go 10 mils of that and we'll do a couple of dashes of orange bitters. Then we're just gonna fill our mixing glass with ice. Give it a little stir. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Then we're gonna strain that off. And the garnish is a bit of a Dale de Groff signature, which is actually a flamed orange peel. So you want a nice, like slightly thicker bit of orange here, and then either a lighter or I've got a little uh, blue torch and we're just gonna give it a gentle warm up. and then spritz it over where it gets all that nice toasty orange flavor in there. Pop that in. And here we have an Irish blonde. That's really yummy. As I said, I hadn't actually come across this one before. And especially for like a stirred down whiskey drink, it's actually really fruity and fun and approachable. Heaps of that nice orange flavor. It plays into the more delicate nature of the whiskey that I use and that little herbal edge from the Fino Sherry absolute banger so give it a go on this St. Paddy's Day. I feel like my Irish ancestors would be proud so now you know.